hi guys welcome back to my channel um i know it's been a while um so i'm just here to do a bible study um i felt led by the holy spirit to do this bible study um and i hope that uh you learn something out of it and i hope you'll be encouraged by it um, so I've entitled the study Signs of the End Times, Signs of the end, end Times. You know, guys, we're living in such a time where, um, everybody is saying that we're living in the end times, right? Everybody is saying it's the last days, it's the last of the last days, eh? the last days, the last days, the last days. Um, and it has become so cliche, um, uh, because we've been saying it. For a while now and it sounds as if um, it's just a saying it sounds cliche because as much as we are saying it's the last days nobody is preparing for that day you know that day because if there is a last days there's a that day you know there's the day that Jesus will come for his bride there's a day that Jesus will come for his church and whether it's um that day that comes first or um the rapture that comes first um i'm yet to thoroughly study the order of the last days but there's a that day and are we really prepared for that day <clears throat> um the bible says that jesus is coming for his bride his church that is without spot no blemish without spot no blemish and we are currently not that church <laughs> we are currently not that church without um spot no blemish and so as much as we keep on saying we're living in the last days we really need to prepare for that day you know that beautiful day when we meet our savior um when in, in the flesh um, so we need to prepare we need to prepare for that day um so let's get on with it let's go to um the book of second timothy chapter 3 verse 1 to 5 second timothy chapter 3 verse 1 to 5 um it says but mark this there will be terrible times in the last days people will be lovers of themselves lovers of money boastful proud abusive disobedient to their parents ungrateful unholy without love unforgiving slanderous without self-control brutal not lovers of good pressurous rash conceited lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of god i love this verse five having a form of godliness but denying its power have nothing to do with such people now let's dissect this word unfortunately because i would like to keep the study short we won't be able to go through the whole list but let's talk about some of these things firstly it says but mark this there will be terrible times guys we are living in terrible times we are living in hard times um and we are just really kept by the grace of god and if you cannot identify the grace of god in upon your life if you don't know that you are kept by grace right now then you are in big big trouble but let's go through some of these things that really stand out for me it says here lovers of themselves mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's amazing that we are living in such a self selfie generation um and guys everything satan introduces everything he brings in it comes as a form of light you know his demons come as angels of light it it comes as something that edifies it comes as something 
um, that brings uh, good or life. But the Bible says the devil only comes to kill, steal, and destroy. Now let's talk about this self-love. Um, the Bible talks about it. Lovers of themselves. Um, which in our culture and in our generation is actually the self-love. Uh, love yourself, self-love, selfies. Can't take it, can't go a day without a selfie. Um, it's always about you, 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 you. And um, that is not how God intended us to live. Um, as long as I'm happy, happiness that comes at the detriment of others at the sadness of others at the peace of others because as long as i'm okay as long as my mental health is okay um if i use the five the last 500 grand i have to go for a massage well that's self-love even if there's no bread in the house and that's not the kind of um world that god has ever intended us to live in and somebody um, said that the Bible says, love your neighbor as yourself. And that sometimes means doing for your neighbor what you would have wanted to do for yourself, but you sacrifice. Um, God is all about a sacrificial kind of love. And that is why Jesus came uh, and he died a death that he didn't deserve so that we may live. And how do we pay it forward? Um, and so this selfie, self-love, guys, beware about how far you take it because it is a sign and a mark of the end time. Self-love, me, 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 self-care, putting yourself first despite um, how it would make other people feel. It, 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 it is not godly. And I'm not saying don't love yourself. I'm not saying don't take care of yourself. I am not saying don't um, uplift yourself, but just be careful that it does not take the form of selfishness. Because if it is noted in the Bible, it means that it is going to happen and rest assured it is happening. Let's see what else the Bible talks about. So it marks this, there will be terrible times in the last days, people will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money. How do we love money? The Bible says the love of money is the root of all evil. Not having money, loving money, being defined by money, being sad when there's no money around. Signs of the last days, I don't want to dwell on that boastful. We're living in such a boastful generation. We have such a boastful culture. Um, whether we do it by speaking, whether we do it on social media, whether we use the term i'm just enjoying what i have just enjoying my blessings watch out that in enjoying your blessings you are not being boastful because it is in the word and um you know zikuze if you feel that there's a level of of of, of boast boastfulness coming through there's being proud of yourself and being proud of your achievements but there's a very fine line between uh, being proud of yourself and pride there's a very fine line between being proud and yourself and being boastful. Um, yeah, let's not go into deep with that, but, but yeah, so being proud, abusive, disobedient to their parents, young people, do you honor your parents, do you listen to your parents, do you regard your parents? If you don't, repent. It's a sign of the, of, of the last days. Um, without love we don't love each other because we've exalted this um the self-love so much that there's no love between brethren um we actually right now living in a time where we celebrate the downfall of a sister or of a brother because there's no love we say i love you but when it's time to actually show up and love or love in that sacrificial kind of love we don't have that um unforgiving we hold grudges slenderous without self-control whether it's eating eating whether it's overspending whether it's lust um whatever it is if you can't control yourself you need to repent and start practicing self-control um, not lovers of good treacherous rash 
rash means acting without careful consideration of the possible consequences where you uh you just don't care i'm gonna do what i what i want to do and i will um face the consequences after and give a pendula after and um i'm just accountable to no one not even jesus um rash um having to satisfy um a pleasure immediate pleasure um without considering the consequences that comes with it conceited lovers of pleasure you know we just want to have fun 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 uh we want to have so much fun and so much pleasure that we don't take time out for um spending time in the presence of god prayer church um you know showing up for people family um whatever good there is because we just want that moment of pleasure rather than lovers of god the bible says we'd be lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of god having a form of godliness but denying its power let's talk about this a bit having a form of godliness but denying its power everybody claims to love god everybody claims to be born again everybody claims to be saved everybody claims to be spiritual in some form but when we really have to move in faith we cannot because we love god but we deny his power we don't have faith we don't believe god can save we don't believe god can heal the sick we don't believe god can deliver the bound anymore we don't believe God can open blind eyes anymore. We don't believe in the same God that was with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, or even Daniel, or even Jacob, because we don't believe in the power of God. And that is why we live in sin. We live in sin because this God, but you know this God, he's just God. He, he doesn't punish, um, he doesn't save. He doesn't do anything we deny his power and that is why we live as recklessly and as carelessly as we do that is why we accept sickness and disease that is why we accept bondage because we don't actually believe um that god can heal and god can deliver and god punishes and we don't actually believe that god can bring a breakthrough and that is why we accept unemployment when we're unemployed because we have this form of godliness that is why somewhere, I think in the book of Matthew, the Bible says that not everybody that says, Lord, Lord, um, will actually go to heaven. Because many people say, Lord, but many people, through their actions, deny God's power. God is powerful. He is almighty. If we stand on God's word, we will see so much change, so much deliverance, so much healing, the rising of the dead the opening of blind eyes the deliverance of the bound if we only only can believe that god is really powerful so let's not live in a culture let's not be those people who who, who, who have a form of godliness but deny its power god is powerful and he can do for you what you need him to do for you whatever it is God says, is there anything too hard for God? Absolutely nothing. But of course, those are signs of the end times. Um, and and, and it, it, the Bible talks about, about all of these things. You know, somewhere in the book of John, the Bible talks about the, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eye, the pride of life signs of the end times that you just want to see what you want to see and on your energy it's okay the lust of the eye the lust of the flesh to soothe and satisfy the flesh whether it is through eating what you're not supposed to eating and not taking care of the temple whether it's through reckless sex um whatever it is the lust of the flesh and then there's the pride of life me 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 i achieved this through my education i achieved this through my hard work i achieved this because i go to gym i achieved this because you didn't achieve anything because of anything you did it is the favor and the grace of god upon your life that gets you where you are let's go to the 
second scripture and i hope all of this makes sense let's go to acts chapter 2 verse 17 acts chapter 2 verse 17 acts chapter 2 and verse 17 says in the last days god says i will pour out my spirit on all people your sons and daughters will prophesy your young men will see visions your old men will dream dreams even on my servants both men and women i will pour out my spirit in those days and they will prophesy i will show wonders in the heavens above and signs on the earth below let's jump to verse 21 and everyone who calls on the name of the lord will be saved now guys um so timothy speaks about the the bad signs of the end times um but the bible says that when the enemy comes like when the enemy comes like a flood the lord will raise up a standard against him when the enemy comes like a flood the lord will raise up a standard against him and so as evil prevails in the last days so will the spirit of god there will be a pouring out of the holy spirit upon the children of god there will be a pouring out of the holy spirit upon the sons and daughters of god there will be a pouring out of the holy spirit upon the righteous and upon the church of god and so those who walk with god will be signs the holy spirit uh, will pour out upon us so much that there will be prophecy in the last days. We will dream dreams, we will see visions, and we will prophesy. There will be an increase of the prophetic word, an increase of people seeing visions and dreaming dreams because it is the last days and we will start walking in the spirit of God. And so if you are seeing more visions, if you're a child of God, if you are dreaming dreams, it is fine that is where god is taking his church that is where he's taking the righteous it's a manifestation of the outpouring of his spirit okay why will there be an outpouring of his spirit upon the righteous upon the church upon the sons and daughters of god because we are living in times of deception the spirit of truth you know the holy spirit is the spirit of truth will guide you in all truth you know so instead of being deceived um by, by by the devil and his demons the spirit of truth will guide you um because we are living in such terrible times which where such harm is being done the holy spirit is also the spirit of comfort he will comfort us um when jesus ascended into heaven he says to his disciples i leave you not alone but i leave you with the holy spirit which is the spirit of comfort and so we will need this outpouring of the holy spirit to comfort us in these um terrible times uh, but also to guide us the bible says that those who are led by the holy spirit are the sons of god and so the holy spirit must come upon us so that we can prophesy see vision dream dreams and walk in that realm but also that as deception rises we will have the spirit of truth to guide us the spirit of truth so that we know what's truth and what's deception but also the spirit of comfort in these very terrible times um, but you need to have a relationship with God to survive these times you need to know Jesus the Bible says the name of the Lord is a strong tower the righteous run to it and they are saved and so I want to encourage you to receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior so that you will be able to love joyfully in these last days i just run my bible just um it just blew over because i'm sitting outside i just want to go back to f as i close Verse 21, Acts chapter 2 says, And everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. When you call upon the name of the Lord, you will be saved. 
you have to receive Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior of your life. And you will be saved. If you don't know Jesus, receive him. I hope that this teaching made sense to you. Um, let me just pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I bring your son, your daughter before you. Um, Lord, let your spirit touch them. Let your Holy Spirit um, just fill them up as they receive you as the Lord and Savior of, of, of their lives. The Bible says that they will be saved in these last days. And I thank you, Lord, that whoever watches this um, video will have an understanding and if they need to come to repentance will come to repentance and if they are already living in your way and in your will they will continue to do so thank you jesus for your presence that will fill this video and that will take it to the ends of the earth i give you glory in jesus name amen thank you guys so much for watching please share this video with others and remember to um like and subscribe God bless you. Bye.